Hi guys. All right, this is for Dr. C's biology class. So I'm gonna start out saying, there's gonna be lots of blanks that you will probably have to fill in because I just got a crash course last night in mitosis. I think I said that right. On our little project that we're gonna to do to help you with how cells divide. Okay, so for this project, all you're gonna need is this. One, uh, flour, salt, and warm water. Okay, so be sure your water is warm, not boiling hot, warm. So you need half a cup of flour, quarter cup salt, quarter cup of warm water. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a small handful of salt dough, okay? So if you want to pause me, you can to go run and get those things, or if you wanna watch all the way through, go for it. I'm gonna tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so you're gonna need a bowl, a small bowl to put it in. You're gonna start out with your flour. Half a cup of flour is not a lot. Put it in your bowl. All right, just put it in. Quarter cup salt. It's gonna be a lot of salt. Make sure that you get the right amount, okay? What I always do before I add in the water is I like to kind of mix it up first. Just enough that the salt's been mixed in and it's not just a pile of salt all on the top and the center. All right, so other things you're gonna need while I am mixing this. Some kind of pins, Sharpies will work the best, okay? And I'm using a pizza cutter, but you could probably use uh, a ser serrated knife, like a steak knife. You need something with uh, an edge that's got teeth on it, okay? All right, that feels like it's good. It'll kind of feel gritty. That's what you need. You need it to feel a little bit gritty. That's the salt. All right, quarter cup. And all I did was I just put some water in a coffee mug, threw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so till it was warm. So, quarter cup, and I'm making a mess, that's okay. And then you're just gonna mix it all in until it gets doughy and gooey. And then hopefully, if you did this right, then the flour should start to stick together and you should be able to start taking it off the sides. Okay, now if it looks like you do not have enough water, because remember salt and water, it's going to want to absorb, you can add, I'm going to add just a touch, okay, you go in little bits, always in little bits, because if you go past it, well then you're going to need to add way more flour and salt, and then that doesn't work, okay, so if you need to, to make this work, add little bits. It needs to look like like dough, almost like uh, homemade Play-Doh, okay? I'm almost there. I think I might just pick up a little bit of water that I dropped on, on the counter. Okay, you need it soft. A little bit more water. All right, so by the time you get done, again, pause me if you need to or if you're gonna watch it all the way through you should end up with a ball that's similar to that, okay? Now, I'm gonna clean up while I clean up. If you need to, you do something. I will push. All right, so everything's magically been cleaned up. You're gonna start out with the dough, and now here comes all this science -y part that you're gonna have to fill in the blanks with. So, I know that there are four phases. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ball of dough and we're gonna flatten it out, okay? 
into a bit of an oval. All right, we don't want it so round. Why? Because we need to draw on it. All right, so in I think the second or third phase, I think it's, I'm not gonna tell you because then I don't wanna get in trouble. Okay, so in one of the phases, your chromosomes light up, right? So now I'm gonna take a Sharpie and I'm going to draw a chromosome in the center. I think I'm gonna do three, okay? Just like that. So there are your chromosomes. Now I'm gonna do a chromatid. See, I did learn. Well, I'm gonna do this one in pink. So if they lined up, it makes its copy or whatever on the other side. So then they look like this. All right? In the middle. Here is what you're gonna do now. Taking your knife or your pizza cutter, nope, we're not gonna go straight through the middle yet because that's not what happens, right? They gotta get pulled first. But what we are gonna do is we are going to score down the middle. Am I cutting into it? No. I'm making just enough of an indention of the line. That way, when we pull these apart to the center pole, right? Because they're gonna be pulled apart. They're gonna go that way, okay? Because then that's what happens, right? We're gonna scooch these over. So where now, my funky little chromatids are now chromosomes over on the side. And I'll squish it down so now my chromosomes are back in the middle, okay? So all I did was squish them over and made it round again. So technically we actually have enough dough to keep splitting our cells because we can keep giving them chromatids, right? Okay, so hopefully this helps and you had some fun. And if you need ideas of what to do with this, this actually makes great little Play-Doh if you want to go and just play with it, okay? Or give it to a younger sibling to play with. It's salt, it's flour, it's water, it's not going to hurt nobody. If you don't want to play with it, you can just toss it, all right? But there are our splitting the cell for mitosis, all right? We'll see you guys next time.